Let's try this determining the molar mass of a gas problem. Uh, this one says the oil produced from eucalyptus leaves contains the volatile organic compound eucalyptol. At 190 degrees Celsius and 60 torr, a sample of eucalyptol vapor had a density of 0 0.320 grams per liter. Calculate the molar mass of eucalyptol. Okay? So, we should be able to do this using that um, molar mass equation that was derived from the ideal gas law. Okay? So, um, why don't you guys help me out with that molar mass equation first? So, if you guys remember it, the molar mass equals what? Density times R T, yeah, divided by P. Yeah, so remember molar mass, density, R, that's the gas constant, so that's got to be given to you. T and P. So let's write down the gas constant. And I'm going to write, in fact, why don't I, yeah, I'll just write it. like this, so we can remember what units we need to cancel out, okay? So hopefully this gives us a clue to say, well, Tor, that's in the wrong units. We need ATM. Kelvin, that's in the wrong units. We need to change degrees Celsius to Kelvin, okay? So um, let's convert those. So. 764, 0.320 grams per 1 liter times R, 0 0.0821 liter ATM per 1 mole Kelvin times 463 Kelvin. Divide all that by the pressure. 0 0.789 0 ATM. Okay, so let's see. So liters cancels with liters, ATM cancels with ATM, Kelvin cancels with Kelvin, grams per mole. Grams per mole is good um, units for molar mass. So, of course. So to three sig figs, I get a molar mass of 154 grams per mole for eucalyptol. Okay, so that's how you would do a problem like this. Um, are there any questions on something like that? Okay, I think the most important thing to do is remember your units so you can cancel them out and you get the right answer. Okay, good luck, uh, good job.